Hello and welcome back to Food Night UK and we bring you the big names, we bring you the festivals, we bring you everything, but we bring you the emerging bands. Now here with us today, Leeds Finest, Inheritor in the house. What's up? For doing? the people yeah, at home, yeah. let them know who you are. So, what, personally? Or yes, personally, your, your name. <laughs> oh, my name. I'm Ty, I make horrific sounds and I match that with fancy words. Fair play. I'm Ryan, I swing six strings for hopefully a living at some point in Inheritor. We really do. That's uh, the dream, it really is. So, yes, I brought you here. We're going to talk about your new EP, Chaos Sermons. Crack open a cold one with the boys. Yeah. So I was listening to it earlier on today, Chaos Sermons. There's some catchy fucking hooks in there, I've got to say. Thank you very much. It, uh, I was watching, you've done a video for, is it, how many feet under? Uh, <laughs> it's quite a few. 13. <laughs> I was going to say six. I'll but... tell you what, the, the amount of time it took for me to like calcify and consolidate mm. in my head the title I'd given that song. Yeah. Every time I was saying it was just a misnomer every time. <laughs> I was like, I need to remember what I said. So it's 13 feet beneath. But 13 feet beneath. beneath. And there's a video on YouTube and we might be running some clips of it. Around that year. Um, so yes, that's been out for a month or so now. The video, the video itself, what? The video itself is what? Eight, nine. The, the song came out a while ago, because that was kind of a, we didn't really do like a single leading up to the EP mm -hmm. thing. We kind of just, we all, well we did, but I'm not saying we did. I'm not going to concede on that. <laughs> you can all sue me. Um, so we dropped that like a few days before the EP, yeah. you know, just give people a little taste of them. Bam, yeah. EP came out. Yeah. Uh, we filmed the video, loads of other stuff was going on, you know, life stuff and uh -huh. whatnot on our end and other people's ends. Uh, but we're not in a rush, you know, because it's our biggest release to date. So, yeah. you know, we're dragging it out a little bit. Give us, just give us a break, all right? <laughs> um, so, yeah, the, the video is only about eight, nine days old and it's done, it's done really well. Oh, yeah, well, that's wonderful. Us, yeah. yeah. Well, it's the way for bands to do it these days. You can't, it's not enough to just put out a demo. No, it's not. It's it's not. not. You've, got to, you've, got to have, you've got to have your fingers in all the pies. Well, it's just finding that balance as well, fighting people's like want to consume content, but also this thing of attention spam. Yeah. So, you know, we've got this nice little choppy video together for, you know, a relatively like, catchy, I hope. Um, yeah, it's got a great chorus song. on it. Thank you very yeah. much. I wrote that whilst, if people think like rock and roll and metal and everything's glorious, <laughs> I can tell you now it's not because 2023, very, very apt. Um, I wrote that chorus whilst I was digging concrete out in Birmingham uh, <laughs> in the absolute freezing cold, soaking yep. wet. And yep. I was just sat listening to the demo with a big, a big break, <laughs> like, I just go, it's great, <laughs> like that. So yeah, videos. Inspiration comes at weird times. Yeah, yeah, it does. The amount of songs I've written on the toilet. But anyway. <laughs> well, they're mainly guttural. They're all, well, well, they're definitely bassy. <laughs> um, you do eat a lot of spicy stuff, don't you? So I won't expect anything I less. do eat a lot of spicy stuff, yes. So, um, what would you say your uh, influences are going into Inheritor? We, we, we all had like, you know, you've got like your holy grail of like popular metal bands that everybody knows and yeah. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, Splashback, mate. That's it. Yeah, don't drown. That's why you should always stick a buddy to the shower <laughs> and you keep getting weird about it. And no, number one rule being Inheritor is don't be weird about it. So, <laughs> if he gets fired, you know why. Uh, so, yeah, going into that, everyone likes to, you know, the same heavy bands to a degree yeah. we? we've all got like that i know you've got big uh, like extreme metal flavors. yeah yeah i like the underground yeah. stuff yeah going in it's for me it's just it's the bands that have always made me love music mm. and want to write fans like i'm a, this is where all the actual like underground and elite mm. fans go oh, ty's cool he's, a, he's in a young kind of popularly sounding band mm. band but he represents the underground this is where they're all going to go poser and like yeah. slang laptops who cares you know, fans <laughs> for me like like both my valentine yeah. parkway drive it dies today Mm. Um, I used to be really into like Disturbed back in the day, um, Slipknot, you know, all those mm. guys. But for me, a lot of the bands that people forget about, like Bleeding Through, yeah. Poison the Well. Awesome. Um, I mean, It Dies Today, one of those, As I Lay Dying. Mm. Um, and I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna have to put two controversial ones together now, aren't Go I, on. just to get out of the way. But, uh, I'm a really big Marilyn Manson fan, like mm -hmm. early Manson. So I got into all that We're just stuff. talking about the music. We're just talking about music. And he, uh, some of the things he says are smart, but that doesn't, I'm not condoning anything. Yeah. Don't twist my words. Because <laughs> if you do, I'll twist them back and slap you with them. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, stuff like that. And also bands like At The Gates, uh, bits like, you know, Deicide, Morbid Angel, all that stuff. Yeah. I love like the old school kind of. You, when, you when were saying you like the Bay Area throughout. Yeah, when like, Death. Well, Bay Area, Death. 
all the all the same one bay over. I like it when like music was you know this kind of pertains to the Marilyn Manson kind of era of like the nineties mm. and so like when music was a bit more cutting edge and dangerous and kind mm. of you know not in that way dirty yeah and, like, like you like big riffs stuff. though catchy riffs like big oh, riffs yeah, yeah. 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 I do yeah. like big riffs so, yeah the entire the short answer the entire spectrum yeah I love all of it I love the darkness I love Behemoth so for you as a guitarist like uh, who you're yeah. Oh man, um, big inspirations for me guitar wise, um, like Sinister Gates from uh, mm. Avenged Sevenfold, definitely. I'll pick technical. It to, yeah, 100%. I do Mega love tech. some technical playing. Um, I do like the fact that he's trying to pretend he's not technical these days, but he really is technical. Yeah, like he's, he's such, so a, he's <laughs> such a virtuoso and he's got the, the it's so eclectic Yeah, what awesome. he can do. Yeah. Oh, carry go. on talking. <laughs> um, <laughs> Jeff Wing from Parkway Drive. Oh yeah, um, yeah. thank oh. you very much indeed. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I do really like technical playing, but at the same time, catchy riffs every time. Like, yeah. If you've got a catchy riff in an intro, it's, mm. it's one of those things that just like grabs you. Jeff Wing yeah. made me cry yesterday. Mm. Did he? Yeah, I was I was doing a little workout in the garden, and I had the new Parkway album on, or the newest Parkway album on, and I was literally. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I sent you the oh, Snapchats of me did, just hyperventilating, did. like <laughs> every vein's popping out, and then Darker Still comes on, yeah. and that like classically bit of acoustic arpeggio comes on, and I just, I just, I don't know what you happened. Lost it. I was just, just lost it. like that. Well, I don't even go. have an emotional tie to that song. That's how good Parkway Drive are. There we are. And as usual, if you like what the, you see there, please subscribe, hit the bell, hit the notifications, leave a comment. You know what to do. It keeps us doing what we do. So, talking of hardcore, because I know you, you, you like your hardcore, and I've seen you down that Temple of Boom. Um, well, by my own choice, I guess <laughs> all my friends live there. <laughs> so, how do you feel? Where are you on this uh, debate about crowd killing? Uh, I think it's just that I'm going to put this down yeah. because I'm getting. That's really nice, by uh, the way. I'm, I'm, yeah, yeah. It's really, really good. <laughs> but, right. I don't, know, I don't know what your feelings are. On well, this. My, my personal. I'll give you my personal one. I, I, you know, the venue we're talking about is about 200 capacity, mm -hmm. I would say, on a good night. Why does it take 20 people to fill it up with their spinning kicks? So now we're getting into semantics <laughs> and ergonomics and uh, math, so I don't like any of that. I'm, just jump over there. Um, I'm sorry, I've got chicken in my tea. I'm just saying it now. Um, There's been worse happening on So that. I don't know, it's a weird one. It's kind of a, because to some degree, it's like any form of, you know, event where you get people in a packed room and the energy is mm. high. It's like going on a roller coaster. It's like, you know, any kind of adrenaline fueled mm. or thrill seeking mm. form of entertainment or spending mm. time. You know, there's, there's a sense of risk there, but it's kind of controlled. Mm. Whereas if you're at a gig and someone's crowd killing, you can get a heel to the face. Yeah. It's not exactly fair. But then again, if you go into a gig, it's... It's finding that balance of personal responsibility and like a societal expectation for me. I think if you get to a gig mm. and someone's swinging the fists and that, but they're kind of staying in their own bubble. Yeah, if they're staying what, in their own whatever, space. Oh, whatever. Yeah. Swing yeah. fist at like, yourself. You know, yeah. I mean, this thing is like me and Ryan, uh, we've been about a bit. <laughs> no, um, we're, you know, like young, like physical physical job doing yeah. blue collar lads. If you come up and your heel kick us in the face, you get it back. You're gonna get, yeah. so, or I'm gonna say some, or I'm gonna make a snarky comment about your cargo pants and you, you know, that are ten times too big for you, and the fact that the only person you can take on is an e-girl in the pit. But yeah. you know, so yeah. it's like, like anything. I get it, it in moderation. To, yeah, it comes with the, it comes with the territory, but I think it boils down to don't be a whiny bitch and don't be a dick. And if everybody did that, yeah. a lot of people would get on a lot yeah. more. Yeah. Um, however, that being said, a guy did absolutely just pulverize. Like, this is going to sound really bad now. I shouldn't have said that. The innuendos are going to be flowing in. We're at Hatebreed at Download. Oh, yeah. Absolutely extraordinary. Best I've ever seen them. Um, and we were just uh, literally on the outside of the tent. And then the biggest dude I've ever seen, like 22 stones, 6, 7. He's not a crowd killer or anything. Just obliterates everybody charging <laughs> to get to the pit. Like, yeah. knocks some little girls on her dad's shoulder. She goes fine. My girlfriend's tiny. And he may have bumped into her and, like, shocked her. I may have. Uh, yes. I may, I may have. Don't I may, incriminate I may, yourself. I may have engaged. So <laughs> this, this is me saying it's just all about standards, and I've gone and done that. I don't want to be outed as a hypocrite, <laughs> even though we all are. I will so, say yeah. one thing though: if you looked at the Guardian's uh, coverage of Download Festival, I forgot you about this. Seen a familiar face in there with his Larry face on in pit. Yeah. <laughs> right. There's a story behind that. So, Go ahead. We like stories. On death, we're playing. 
Oh my oh, god. Oh death were amazing. What we were saying about, you know, oh, these chunky, punk. catchy oh, riffs coming back, you all know, about them. you're getting that like kind of punk rock hookiness and that slowed down dirty thrash feel back in very death metal. It's very like, grimy. Yes. Very grimy. Well they played at Boom like yeah. that week. Yeah. And apparently they were lovely guys and cleaned the green room up, which is why we always tidy green rooms up. Yes. Hey um, prosthetic, did you hear that? They were lovely guys and they cleaned the green room up. Yeah, both of us. We so, all do it. So <laughs> check that out, Becky. Um yeah, so Undeath were playing, absolutely insane. And there were a couple of, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to throw shame around ages and, you know, people's mm. abilities, whatever, but I'm kind of a veteran at this point going mm. to gigs. There were a lot of young kids in there in the pit, like, what is going on? Mm. There were a couple of middle-aged ladies who were waiting for a pendulum. And they'd mm. come and see what was going on in the tent, as you oh. do at a festival. Oh, a festival it takes off. There was a queue for crowd surfers at Undeath. They formed a queue. It was like a phalanx. Very it was like a tortoise. It was like, it was like the, the army of Urukai at Helm's Deep going up the, <laughs> <laughs> up the ramp. It was like, what? I've never even seen anything like that. So That's was, good. There was a lot of crowd surfing, stage, everything. So I was kind of playing, Organized I pits. was playing pit uncle and I was like making sure everybody was okay. <laughs> and it got to the last song. I'm of lifeguard uh, Yeah, exactly. It got to the last <laughs> song of Undeath set and I just went, I'm going to go have a bit of tie time now, I think. <laughs> so I think I've earned it. So yeah, I just, Got into a bit of a paint, having a bit of a mosh, and the guy with the camera just about that, and I went, ah. So for that split second, I was like a raving lunatic, and I was actually being the most boring guy at the death metal show. But it was an excellent photo. Thank you. It was an excellent photo. Well. I've been hanging around photographers all summer, and I, and uh, yes, they look for photos awesome. like that. Oh, apparently, because they put this chimpy mug on there, so. <laughs> of the bands you've seen this year, mm -hmm. who's been your fave? Because I, I, the first time I came across you that guys, was. you were supporting graphic nature yeah it's a photographic nature yeah. you were really good as well by I, the way. Stalk, I stalked you pretty much after i was like give me this man's <laughs> contact info i want to speak to him yeah um sorry graphic for throwing you in it <laughs> so this year i mean i've seen i've seen attila oh attila, attila. Right. i'm quite quite a fan of attila i think like uh, they're, they're good fun music you, i was just about to say you like fun bands though yeah, yeah yeah i am into like heavier stuff as well but i just like it's not wrong with fun bands sometimes with that you party know, cannon. When you're on a... mm. <laughs> Dudes. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so what's the plans for the rest of the year? Ah, uh, right, so we're um, we'll trying to get some more shows booked in, get yeah, mm -hmm. back on you know, a frequent live circuit. We love playing live, don't we? That's we do. Absolutely. We do, absolutely. It let, lets us all, you know, just break free and lets me be the ultimate idiot. Um, well, you've had a good one at the uh, second time. Playing, playing, well, I don't know if it's still there. Hmm. I don't know if you can see oh, you it. got oh, you got battle scars. Battle yeah, scars. I may, I may or may not have stood on the, I don't know what to call it, the barrier, the fence, whatever. Because I'm not going to say the barrier because it's about yeah. the, ground, the grounds there. It's about there. Yeah. yeah. But on the the railing that goes around, yeah, I was stood on there for a little bit of wasted time, borrowed yeah. there, and, you know, one of our songs. And as we go into the second verse, after I come off of like you know the melodic cadence, or whatever. Yeah. I don't know music theory. Leave me alone. Um, it, there's like an impact, and it's like doom before we go back into rah, rah, rah. and on the impact, I just went. With the mic, so um, you got a real boom on that. Yeah, one. Pretty, pretty big boom. <laughs> uh, and then my ears stopped working, so I ragged them out and threw them at my mate in the crowd. So we went really like you know, kind of down and dirty punk rock with that yes. one, didn't we? Yes. Excellent. I've just hit water down myself. Look at that. We're back now for our new a new feature introduced by Inheritor to us. This is kind of like what we did at Portals Festival. Um, oh, we, when I had to go to a world food shop because I've forgotten my sauce. Oh god, yeah, I remember that one. <laughs> the idiot was meant to bring the sauce. Me. Yeah. Do his I've job. Got, right, so we'll put the bag down here. Now, Ty, I'll leave it to you. Right, Ty's got some uh, unknown ingredients in his special bag that he's brought from the whole food, food shop. We've had fun like this before. Ty's not going to tell me what it is. <laughs> and it's going to be in Japanese, so I won't know. Um, or something. Right, go on. Some oriental scribing. Hit, that hit, hit, hit us with one. Just a, anything. Yes, Tom. And we'll all have it. We'll start off, let's start off like left of centre, but not necessarily like what you're doing with your life. Get out of here, I hate you. Let's just try some sweet pumpkin in a nice vacuum packed. Sweet pumpkin. Vacuum. Because we are getting on fat. Ah, this is the Halloween episode. I just realised. <laughs> oh my god, I didn't even plan that. That's amazing. It's almost like we planned it. We can edit it to make it look like we planned it. <laughs> hey, look, for, for Halloween we've got pumpkin. You know what we should have here? We should have a soundbite and a clip of that bit in Skype. <laughs> uh, not Skype, Highlander where it goes, Happy Halloween, ladies. <laughs> in the we should have that there. Oh, Thank God, you. look, you can tell it's from the Whole Foods shop because it's got bags upon bags upon bags. Oh. It's got a steak knife here. Oh, look, it's got a little spoon. <laughs> you got 
I thought that was the spoon. <laughs> oh, hang on. We've got more bags. That... Oh, no. Do we need a pet? No, we don't. Look at that. Just whilst we're doing that, you did enjoy Chaos Sermons then. I you did. did enjoy that, yeah. <laughs> did we have got an EP out called Chaos Sermons. If so. I thought it were crap, you wouldn't be here. Well, that's it, yeah. I kind of, <laughs> I kind of answered my own question, didn't I, really? I, as I've said before, I don't give out good, uh, bad reviews. I just don't review things I don't like. Right. Apart from food, <laughs> let's see. Let's put that to the test. Right, so what are we doing? Are, are we going to attack it? You, you've got forks, go on. You, you attack it with I'm your fork. I'm going to knife it. Knife it. I'm going to ramble. Oh, wait, hey, oh, it's quite, it, it it's, comes apart. It's very tender. Okay. Consistent. Okay. okay, that looks a little bit all right. Okay. All right, and Smells I'll, I'll um... Oh, no. <laughs> you don't like pumpkin? <laughs> that does not smell great. I'm not massive on pumpkin. Oh, it doesn't smell good, does it? No. I'm not massive on pumpkin, but when I was in Transylvania for Halloween one year, I had the nicest pumpkin soup ever, everything since then. Right, okay, so this is... Um... Right, yeah, it's <laughs> pumpkin. <laughs> right, right let's go. Why did it taste savoury? Nuts. Nuts. Honestly, not great. That's not as sweet as I, I, I was hoping. I don't know. At the end, I get like a really artificial sweetness, though. No. It's got overtones of fish. No. <laughs> no. I, I didn't mind that. You could take that home with you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, think, I think after a couple of bites of that, right, I've had enough of that now. But it didn't offend I'm, me. I'm sure it's good for you. That's all I've got to say on that. It was that. vacuum sealed. <laughs> it says sweet pumpkin. Doesn't mention. Overturns of fish. That, yeah. Well, that brings us nicely onto our next uh, poisson based <laughs> segment. <laughs> oh, right. Uh, streaming error. Um, I got this. I think it's like lizard fish jerky with like sugar and that. You, you're the wow. food man. You tell me what it is. Well, we can tell by the picture it's got fish in it. He looks way too happy to be, to be dead. <laughs> well, he's going to be dead soon. Um, but, oh, it's spicy. We've got a chilli pepper here. So. But I have learned to uh, find that that doesn't mean anything. Yeah. And it's also got a ladybird on it. Um, but it's like when people brand us metal car. Please don't just skip over them because of that. We've actually got quite a lot going on. Right. Oh, gosh. This is sticky. Right. Right. I'll I say it I'm not a big lover of fish. Right. right. <laughs> they look... It looks a bit like packaging material. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? it looks right. like, those, like, those, like, what would you call them? I'll have to. Those cor like corrugated, almost um, corduroy ripples and furrows. Right. Close up on that, look. Yeah, oh, it's so fishy. They, they smell horrible. <laughs> I think I need to. I'm going to pull No, it's not. Ready? I ain't meant to eat it. It's what blue. I'm just tearing from sign. Mm. Oh. Smells and tastes like fish food. Like you would feed a goldfish. That is like eating packaging material. The sweetness is nice, though. The, the sauce or whatever's on it's nice. The binding material. That's fish skin. Yeah. Is it? That's fish skin. If it's lizard fish, is it just scales on scales then? Chili flavoured fish fillet. Sorry, it's not a fillet if you just take the skin off it. Fillet's the bit without the skin on. <laughs> so it's a bit like someone say, someone say it's almost reptilian. Oh no, this is a formed fish snack and they've taken fish and formed it into that piece of cardboard. Right. Right, yeah, because rectangles are so appetising. I remember when a kid watching sea babies in a triangle came on. I went, nah. Now this oh, is from this is from that. Thailand. It is Thai. Um, it says it's got chili flavour coating. Doesn't say which chilies. So uh, chili fans, I don't know. It's, it's actually not that bad. It's, uh, we'll put that on the done pile. Yeah, it's <laughs> a bit. It's interesting. It's something. Hey, we we we're going across the world here. So uh, that were oh, from. Around the world. Doesn't say it. It Says Oriental. Oriental oh, China. Samples. That was from China. That's from Thailand. Right. Right. Right, what, we're we're what's next, Ty? Well, oh. I'm assuming we're going to do two or three more. So let's try these ones. You said, oh, the eggs. You said you knew something similar to this, but this one's put a bit of a spanner in the works. Now, at Portals Festival, we did this salted egg flavour crisps. Um, <laughs> and they were dead nice. We all thought they were going to be gross, and they were really nice. And I think... Who do I eat them with? Someone. Well, like, do you know those pink wafers you get? Like, yes. When you were five and you went to a party and you got a party bag, but like on... Oh, you yeah! Didn't, you didn't care about the party bag, because on the side they had pink wafers. And now, I, like. I never would have thought pink wafers and eggs. Well, yeah. they're really salted small. egg, because I'm sure eggs gets involved Are in these cooking. these like made out of just the yolks, then, though? I don't know. Salted egg. They actually smell quite nice. Yeah. They smell, smell like pink a, wafers. It smells a lot better than I thought. It's literally like wafers. My girlfriend, when I showed them, she was like, I'm not shaving them, I want them. 
She used to work in a Chinese shop and they used to feed her everything. She loved it all. Now that is strange. I'm going to let you eat that. That is odd. Because that is like... Half of it's sweet pink wafer and half of it's salted egg. Oh, it egg. definitely tastes of egg. But you get the pink wafer as well. That's a strange the combination. The only other thing I can compare that to is... I don't know what, what brand it was, but there used to be like these little circular crispy things that had like cheese in the middle. Yeah. And then burst in your mouth and it was... Uh, I'm going to get another one there. Yes, yeah, you, you, you keep sucking on them. But yeah. I don't know if that's good or not as well. So, that's all. Really, like, I think that's as, really as with one. all good discoveries in the world food, food aisle or shop, um, you don't know. you seriously conflicted. I'm not a fan of the lingering aftertaste. It's like sulfur. It's like putting your mouth around a, a rock in Iceland. It's very... Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? No, I've just intensified the flavour. and Yeah. It's a bit I don't know. Eric. It's, mm -hmm. I don't know if I was watching a movie and you put some of them in front of me. I probably worked my way through it back. Yeah, that's. They're actually. Yeah, really like, well, yeah, they're <laughs> right. Well, I thought they were big. I see, after, if you're eating them, it's fine, but then you have like this powdery, like, like, let's say, sucking on a rock in Iceland kind of feel right. Right. So, so they are the Snack And right. they are a product of. somewhere. I don't know. Eggland. Egg yeah. Land. Oh, Malaysia. These Malaysia. are Malaysian. Yeah, salted egg golden cube. There we are. Not really cubes, are they? are more like mattresses. Oh, uh, wait, I'm not. <laughs> little tiny egg mattress. Yeah. Tiny egg mattress. <laughs> so. That'll be on the uh, thumbnail. For those right. of you that have read The Divine Comedy. Uh huh. Abandon all hope. <laughs> all you went to. You went to here. Right. This is a. Uh, oh. oh. I'll, I'll let you do the honours of well, this. Let's one. Get I'm going to try this. On. Oh hard. my goodness me! <laughs> I forgot what this sorry, is. Vegan. Right, see, I'm sorry, Vegan. Answers sorry. on the postcard. What do you think this is? Um, and the winner will get um, one of these sent to them. Oh. Right. Are we, how are you even meant to attack that? Mate, do you want me to use my canines? My <laughs> weird canines. Oh, we've got some knives. We have got. We we've got have our, knives, that's yeah. been in a. Yeah. You sure you don't want to save this for her? I'm going to tell you all, it's a pig's foot. There's one, I can get it another one from out of like two. Quid, pig's foot. So. This is a pig's foot that's been chilified. It's, it's got chilli on it. Um, it's salt, sugar, glutamate, which I can only guess is more sugar. Um, monosodium glutamate. Oh, no, no, that's the shit that oh, makes you, know, you not no. sleep at night. No chemistry, no. Spices. E124, whatever that is. Love a bit of E124 on my yeah. food. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, we've got these. As Everything well, about this is aggressive. We have, I'm but looking forward to these. This is just that. aggressive packaging, aggressive. Look at that. Oh, you've got to pull it out by the bone. That's just, the guy did say, and I will be going round and having words, he said everything was ready to eat out of the packaging. Yeah, it is. So, yeah, it does look tight. There is a bone. It's like a dog treat that you'd give to a dog you hated. Look that at that. Gnarly. I'll go, I mean, I did this. I'll, I'll go first if you want. If yeah, go on. We all just want to you chow down on a piece. You brought you brought it to the party. Just chop off a piece. It yeah. smells quite pleasant, actually. It almost smells like a really sweet bar of soap. You could probably ch chop off a is bit. That, is that plastic or is it like... No, that's the jelly. That's the monomer. That's the MSG, for sure. Right, go on, you've got to... Okay, oh, so you're doing it like that. Right. Let's have a go. Yeah, I'm going to cut a little bit I'm going to cut a bit off. A bit I'll off have a bit of the knuckle. knuckle. Yeah, get some knuckle. Get some knuckle off there. <laughs> right. right, okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh, this feels horrible. That's a pig's foot. You, you know, definitely give like... that to your dog. Everyone tries for a bowel. It's, it's, uh, it just tastes like rub. Cold it's fat and rubber. Cold fat and rubber. The chilli's quite delicate no. though. I've got the chilli, it's quite delicate, it's nice. Oh, it's right at the back there. Mm. Let's see from different part of the foot's any better. <laughs> yeah. Oh, gone through floor. Uh, right. Yeah, that's a weird one, that. Sorry, lads. <laughs> that doesn't really taste the about. The texture is very... <sighs> Look how shiny mm. it is. Got it's, got like that. <laughs> it's got a veneer, that has. <laughs> That was not pleasant. <laughs> that is right. You alright if I take a big bite off the... You, you work away, buddy. You knock yourself out. You, you, you knock yourself right out. That's a big foot. Right. So, let's bring this... Proceed. Oh, that, yeah, I've got more of the chilli now. It's not too bad, is it? Well, it's like chilli that's... Like, if you ate off a shoe. Just, right. Yeah, it, it's like <laughs> eating a shoe. 
It's like, you know them, them plimsolls or like pumps right. you had in year seven, mm -hmm. in your reception? Mm -hmm. It's like eating a reception we've, 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 we've got to have a clear winner. And I think I know what it is. But yeah. go on. Let's have your vote. You're the guest here. What's the winner? I'm going to have to say... The salted egg mattresses. They're <laughs> all a bit weird, aren't they? They're all a bit weird, but the... Mm. You know what? I don't think any are winners, but... Salted egg has to be the least Con gross. Bit of a consolation prize to that one, because it's not as disgusting as I thought it'd be. I've still got pig fat in my teeth. Mm. I'm going to go for the pumpkin, just because I could nibble at that. Right, you it. like pumpkin, you like eggs. I'm going to say eggs. Yes. You, you take, take this stuff home. <laughs> I didn't mind them, it was just the aftertaste. Somebody will eat those. Yeah. Well, in the interest of food science, they're things to avoid next time you're in your whole food, <laughs> world food shop. You don't want to touch that. I don't eat uh, chicken free. No chicken no, feet. No chicken feet. No, 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 mate. Like mucus. No, right. On that bombshell. It's not the one. I'd like to say that we've got still something to taste. Right. <laughs> Yes, we do. This is the, this is the yes, uh, we now we've had all the gross the stuff. Storm. It's nice now. Yeah, we've had all the gross stuff. Let's go for something. <laughs> Get that foot out I, of I, it. I'm gonna <laughs> <laughs> well, hey. put it there just as a reminder. Right, lads. Now this is from Pulverize via Pulverize. Ch our friends Chili Valley. Big up Dan Reed. Woo. Um, this is their Slam Time Sauce, named after the track of the same name. Uh, it's just come out on their band camp, go to their band camp. You can get bundles sick, with t-shirts and all sorts of stuff. Well. Right. Yeah. Now, have a go on this. Now, okay. this yeah, is on should. the upper side of medium. So you both like your spice, so you yep. should, should be in there like swimwear. Right, grab a chip or something without sauce since. on it. Smells. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll get it on I'm a quite chip. Quite well, I don't know. Get it on a chip, right? Get dip, it. dip it in. We're not scared. Go on. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's good. I'm gonna do. I think I'll do a drapage. Yeah. This. Now I'll not tell you about the ingredients, but it'll surprise you. See if you can pick it out. All of you to assume I know anything about taste. Well, <laughs> you earned my band. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look! Catchy chorus. Heavy breakdown. <laughs> screaming verses. Wow. Right. right. There should Seriously be something you get up now. front. Mm. Should be able to get a flavour up front before the spice kicks. This is going to be really weird, but that, that chip was really chippy. It's going to be to try and <laughs> try another different. Yeah. That was but, quite but, sweet. I was at the chip. Yes, yeah, there is sweetness. There is sweetness. There's sweetness to it, yeah. And yeah. It's good. It has got like, and this is going to sound really it's got that tomato-y kind of spice. There is tomatoes. Spice. There is tomatoes. Like, you know when you've had a tomato-y kind of spice, because it kind of goes up your nasal. You know when you eat too much mustard, and it goes like, oh, and you feel it at like the back of your eyes? Mm. When well, I eat like tomato-based spice, I get that a lot. Well, I'm going to tell you, the mystery ingredient in there is cola. Really? Co that's cola. where the spice comes yeah. from? Yeah, that's where the sweetness comes from. Backed up with a little bit of maple syrup. This is Nagas, Habaneros, Bird's Eye, and Scotch Bonnet. Um, it's a beautiful little trifecta um, of the, because like the birds, I was just bringing up the yeah. rear um, It's more like warming, isn't it? Yes. you like, ooh. That's what like, I mean. Yeah. It's like the, the, upper, nice. the upper end of medium, because it's got a little bit of a yeah. in there. But so if you were like a foodie field mouse, that's where you took yourself away for the winter. Uh, <laughs> but yes, fan fantastic. Big up pulverised. Yeah. What are we going to give giving this out of 10? I'll give that a solid seven. I'm probably going to say an eight. I might actually, I'm going to buy some of this actually. This is really good. <laughs> Aye, and you'll have to be quick because they're selling quick. And saw you at Rupture Farms, see? I've got the tenses right Aye. this time. Aye. But no, it's good. That. I love the packaging as well. The packaging's sick. Big up Rory. Rory Pets. Graphics fix. There we go. Right. On that note, thank you so much for being on the show, Inheritor. Thank you. Thank you very much. And check out the new EP, Chaos Sermons. We on do. all your platforms, do all riffs, your bits, riffs and growls and riffs and growls, and singing and stuff, and catch them live in a town near you, no doubt. We're, we're not boring live, live, I promise you. Yeah, we're right. And we're right, right, yeah, Instagram, Inherit a Noise, uh, all the streaming platforms. Every, we're everywhere now. Yeah, Everyone we're, is. We're, I'm not going to do the thing. Mm. Https. No, you're not stupid. You're Just not Google it. Inherit Yeah, we've got a link tree. It's easy. Yeah, you do that. Right then. Cheers, lads. All right, that was a pleasure. Until next time.